I survived a kidnapping, human trafficking, and I believe I witnessed a murder. I was coming home from work. I was walking up to my front door, and then instantly, people were behind me. It's like a pillowcase or some kind of sheet over my head, and I felt a gun. They took me from my front porch, dragged me down the sidewalk into their red truck. When we got into the truck, the woman looked at me and she said, you know, you're never coming home again. Well, Lauren says it got worse from there. She says she was taken to a house sold for drugs and put in a room with another kidnapped woman. And that's when the strange men started entering the room, one right after another. I learned pretty quickly not to fight. There was no way I could have gotten out. There was always somebody watching. That night, I think about 30 to 40 men would come in and pay for what they needed, what they wanted. I was made to do whatever was asked, and it varied. If they wanted to be in the shower, it is in the shower. They wanted to use torture. If they wanted to record it, they had to pay more. If they wanted more people involved, just whatever they wanted to do. And they said horrible things, horrible things to me throughout the entire time. I remember the words, but I don't remember feeling any emotion at all. As though that was not enough, her ordeal was far from over. While Lauren may not remember every detail, she says she does remember the horrific murder of the first girl she met in the tiny back room of the house. She says she can't get the image out of her mind. Within hours of getting to the house, I witnessed the murder of this woman in front of me. They dragged her in and she was crying. Men were arguing back and forth and then another man came in. He grabbed the gun and forced her to her knees. I remember the last, the only thing I saw in her eyes she knew. She knew exactly what was about to happen, and it was relief. He put the gun to her head and pulled the trigger. She died right there. I was put in a trunk, handcuffed to her body, and we were taken to a field. That's where I tried to run and caught me. I had to dig her grave. They dismembered her when she was put in the grave. And they assaulted me, all of them. I did doubt myself for a while. Everybody tells me it's so unbelievable. I can't find anybody else that survived it. And I don't know anybody else who's gone through it. You have a good faith belief that you were abducted on March 18th of, of 04 at 7.38 p.m. And you say three yes. people came up behind you as you were on the front porch going in the front door. Yes, sir. They put something over my head and then I felt a gun on my neck. There was a woman. And she said, you know you're never coming back here again. She said, you know you're never going to see your family again. What did you think at that time? Did you realize <laughs> you were being kidnapped, abducted? What, what did you think was so happening? It happened so fast. That, I mean, I just, I don't remember thinking much. I, I feel like I just reacted. I just right. knew I couldn't fight. And so you're in the back seat, yes. right? Did they have you pushed down? All right, and you said they went to a fast food restaurant nearby, right? Yes. You went through a fast food drive through You said it was like two miles from the house. It was very close to the house. Okay, and um, you were actually sexually assaulted in the back seat yes. of the truck just straight off. Immediately. So you, you had to know whatever's happening here, this, this is not going to be good. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Um, then you're taken to a house and you actually see them sell you for drugs. Yes. And there were a lot of men inside this house. You say nine to ten men. Just scattered throughout the house. Yes. Yeah. You said most, mostly men actually. Mostly men. You're put in a back room and this is where you saw another woman that had clearly been abducted. Yes. A at this point, you said they began to sell you. Men were coming, they started showing up and coming to the door. And you said between eight or nine o'clock that night till 3.30 or four the next morning, there were 40 to 50 men. Yes. That just kept coming one after the other after the other. That's correct. What did you say? I tried to say something once and I was immediately told to stop talking. I was told not to cry and not to talk. 